Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Okay, we had a little technical difficulty there. So, the, the chart is laid out. So everything's fine. I fixed the chart even. I made a little e error on it, but that wasn't, that's not important. The <clears throat> important thing to know is that <clears throat> learn the system, fix the errors, erase it and write it again, you know, so that we get it straight. So going up the strings, you go up in fifths, but what I didn't really want to get into is if you go up in the string notes on the tuning fret, they go up in fourths and down in fifths. Now, when you're going down from E to G, that's really an augmented fifth. So the fifth of, of uh, from B to G, rather, the B string to the G string, uh, that's an augmented fifth. Because you know the fifth of B is, is uh, F sharp, so it goes to G. That's an augmented fifth. And when you're going from the G string to the B string, it's a diminished fourth. That's how we're going to look at it in the cage circle. So it fits in. It's like string fitting there. That is different from what we're looking at here. Okay, this is for the string shapes. And what are the string shapes? So, so I pretty much, I pretty much, um, you know, laid this out without doing a lot of playing about it. So, I, but it is, it's important to realize that to go in fifths, you take every other letter in the caged word. Okay, and that solves that augmented diminished problem for you because E is going to go to C, not to B. And going in force the other way, C is going to go to E, not to F. Alright, so that, that's important. So you can either do it in caged. If you do anything in caged, you know you have note sharing. If you do it in fifths, no note sharing. Okay. And the only thing is between between E and C and C and E, there's the missing fret. So every, all the other four are actual borderline neighbors like that. So let's look at what are the string shapes. These are the string shapes. C is three, four, five. A is five, six. G, any key now, G is 6, 7 root. So if root is C, G would be A, B, C. It's that easy. The E string shape is 7 root 2. See, key of, key of A would be G sharp, A, and C sharp. Okay? The D string shape is 2, 3, 4. Key of B flat would be C, D, E flat. Okay, so no matter what the key is, these are the string shapes, and we're going to put them together to make major scales and also the modal scales. So not only if we can do this, we can do this. It's like all the ivory keys. Okay, so it's all the ivory, all the white keys is the key of C on a piano. So learn them first, you know, and then start to add the accidentals as you go around a circle of fourths or a circle of fifths. Okay, so C in a circle of fourths, C goes to F, F, and that goes to B flat there. We've added the, um, you know, the, the B flat, but really, uh, B flat is the fourth of F, so once you're in F, you're gonna, okay, go like that. And then the key of B flat. Then you add the E flat, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can go around in, in fifths too, and add sharps. Okay, so, but it's not, it's not a music piano lesson for, for that. These are the string shapes, just remember them. The C is gonna go right here, we're gonna use the accidental, and that's a virtual accidental. The, the, this could be a black note, this could be B flat. B flat's the third of what? F sharp, so key of F sharp. If that's B flat, 
and then half step that would be a B and then skip the C would be the white key and C sharp would be the fifth C sharp is the fifth of F sharp so this is a virtual accidental so I use that concept because it's easier for me to see that it's easy, easy for piano players to see things in black and white if you pretend it's the key of C you know then it would be F sharp right there this would be G sharp right here or A flat in the key of C now this would be B flat and it would be um, I guess uh, a, sh a sharp but it would be B flat and E uh, this would be your D flat Okay, so your D flat. Um, and, <laughs> sorry. And then uh, this would be your E flat here. Okay. So we can put these letters, we can go ahead and put these letters right here in the note shapes. Okay. So that's what they're going to become. Now, I don't like that because it doesn't have a black background like that. Uh, so it's a little harder to see that that's a note. You might think these are separated and, and being looked at differently. But that's how they're going to be labeled. So the A is going to go there. The G is going to go there. You know what I'm saying? The E is going to go there. And the D is going to go there. These are the string shapes. Now, where do they come from? I definitely owe you an explanation for where they come from and that would be up here don't worry about the E box here and the D box here because that's what my guitar is it's down tuned let's just look at the C box here okay so we're going to draw a circle a, a, a square rather a four-sided circle right okay so Right there's our C box. All right, so the fret nut would be right here. Okay. And you can see the bottom three strings is three, four, five. The bottom string and coincidentally the top string because that's the way the pattern goes is three, four, five. So we're gonna call that the C shape. Okay, we're gonna call that the C shape. Now let's look at the A shape. The A shape is, I guess it's in blue, so we'll just use like light blue for that. So this would be the A shape box now. And notice it shares two frets with the C box. Okay, so we can use that. It shares the fifth. The fifth is what's shared between the A box and the C box. Okay, so that's part of note fitting because it's an end note in the C string shape and in the A string shape, it's a beginning note if we're playing an increasing scale. If we're going to do a scale backwards, then it would be the beginning note in the C and the ending note in the A it would come down from here seven root two six uh, seven uh, root seven six five sorry about that <clears throat> so it's early it's still early and we have to we have to uh, move along because I have things that I have to do um, so the a string shape is five six and it's got book note isolation there meaning the these string shape labels refer to the other string shapes surrounding it but for all intents and purposes, this is this is book note isolation here. So what we've got with the C, the A string shape is here, right here, five six. Okay, let's do one more so we know what the string shapes are. So here's the G box. This is actually a G pentaton a, a tripentatonic box. But actually, this box, this particular label up here, is not a tripentatonic label. This is a modal label, which means it has the root, it has the fourth, it has the fifth. So that's the tripentatonic shapes. Shapes now, any key. Um,